Local resident who experienced the earthquake firsthand is sharing her story and her video as the disaster unfolded. Dini Buck and her husband, they were traveling in Morocco with another couple when that earthquake hit. As Tanner Stewart explains, they witnessed mass destruction, but they describe how it could have been much worse. With the death toll from the Moroccan earthquakes nearing 3,000, we're getting a first-hand account today from a local who showed us the destruction and described the fear. I sent a, a text home to my family and said, I just want you to know I love you, and saying these words now means, means more than they ever have. Their hotel walls cracked, rubble piled up around the building. Orange Beach resident Dini Buck and her husband Rodney Brown caught in the middle of a recent devastating earthquake in Morocco. My husband and I were lying in bed just about asleep and we, he we heard this noise. We kind of thought that maybe it was like a loud piece of equipment or something that might be going by. And then it progressively just started getting stronger and we noticed the chandeliers in our bedroom started swaying. The couple staying in the city of Marrakesh with two other local couples quickly grabbed their passport and escaped the hotel in the late hours Friday night where panic surrounded them. Out on the street, it was hysteria and pandemonium. I mean, there were people just coming out of every crevice of that, that city that you can imagine. It was very chaotic and um, scary. After several hours, Buck says groups gathered in large numbers to the city square. Their thoughts were on trying to help each other. Their group was close to their final day on the week-long trip around the country, making their final stop in Marrakesh. The destruction there goes as far as the eye can see. Buck says she's thankful they weren't closer to initial impact. A lot of the small towns that you see on the news that have all this devastation, we had actually come through that area just within the past two days. If it would have been you know, a day off of um, from when we arrived in Marrakesh, it's likely we would have been through um, some of that massive devastation and destruction. When we woke up Saturday morning, of course, the first thing we did was, was look and find out the amount of devastation, and it was, it was shocking. But tells me their group was able to get back in their hotel Friday night with very little sleep before returning home the next day. I'm told they didn't need to take any detours to the airport, but this photo shows the thousands ready to leave. Deanie Buck and her family concerned for a while their trip home may be delayed, but she said the entire Moroccan community around them banded together and ensured they made it home safe. And she said for that, they're forever thankful. For WEAR News, I'm Tanner Stewart.